Everybody in TV land is waiting for the ratings to tell them if their show is a success, to tell the television stations how much to charge for their advertising, and to tell our plucky band of community television people whether they've got a product they can sell to a commercial station. Oh yeah, yeah. bitch on wheels, yeah, check her out, it's just fantastic. The show was really well received. The first series really amazed me as far as the ratings went. Um, we rated in the top three, up with some really good programs that had been taken on by commercial stations. And the second series also rated in the top three. Now you'd think being a big rock star, you would have chicks left, right and centre. But for this week's sassy single, it's not about the chicks, it's all about the music. But I think what's also important is you've got to look at the, the audience, whether they're going to be interested in what you're talking about. Now fortunately for us, some new ratings had come out with the Australian Bureau of Statistics saying that there were 50% single people in Australia, 50% of people were in relationships. So that's a pretty huge chunk of the community that really would have been interested in watching our show, I would have thought. What about yourself? Are you single tonight? <laughs> no, I'm taken. <laughs> However, that really what the commercial stations look at is the ratings uh, for shows that have been similar. So the, the similar ones for us was um, Age of Reason with Mark Philippoussis, the Kerry Ann Kennelly show. That's what Channel 9 really looked at and that's what they boxed us into. So we were just interested whether you're actually with someone now or whether you're still single. No, have you got the boys lined up? We're okay, right. <laughs> we're the single one. But the publicity really helps when you can show that you've got newspaper articles and clippings, you know, and radio interviews about the show. Uh, that really goes down well with people potentially wanting to buy the show. We basically look over the last season and pick the highest rated moment and say, oh, this is, uh, this is what we rated, which is true. Indiana Jones and the fast food merchandising tie-in. I love Lucas, that's just a joke for Lee. He doesn't appreciate you. Ratings are a huge part of a show. Uh, no commercial TV station, no one would even have a meeting with us unless we showed what our ratings were like. So they were really important. When Abby does start to put in a little more effort, what type of guy would she ideally like to find? I think that's probably the hardest part. I don't know exactly. Never forget the rules have been watched in, in over 90 countries, both series, through our website and through YouTube. And you can tell through the stats exactly how many people at any point, it's much more accurate statistics and metrics than, um, than the television ratings. Me think the lady does protest that too much. <laughs> that's Braveheart, right? No man, it's, it's King Arthur. It's Shakespeare. Season two had a, uh, I think, had a peak in Melbourne of 74,000 viewers at one point. And I believe that they did that by, they got that figure by sampling three people and then extrapolating that out to 74,000 viewers. That's fine. I have the, I have the Oztan figures that back up what I say. So um, we certainly included that when we went and talked to them. I don't know how much it helps, but you know, it's not a bad number, so it can't hurt. You get obsessed because you've got the stats totally. You can, you know, second by second, you know exactly who's watching almost from where, which country. So brands and sponsors love that. And that's another reason why they're, why they're coming across to that because that kind of information, if you can start to collate some of that information, it becomes valuable. My kingdom for an intelligent man. And what about the film industry? Usually it's how much money the film makes on its opening weekend. That's why red carpet premieres are so important in drumming up publicity. I have a media pass and I'm right next to the red carpet. I feel so special right now. But for everyone talks about what a film made on its opening weekend, I don't really know anyone who cares. Film fans don't care about that. They want to know if the film is good or not. Unless I'm making money off it, I don't care. But actually, I'll amend that because I kind of care if Batman Begins makes a lot in its first weekend. Because if I really like the film and it makes a lot, then that's good news for me because it means I get to see the sequel, which I'm going to. And if that's really good and it makes a lot of money, it means on that level I care. But beyond that, I just don't give a What about films that don't even make it to the cinema? Well, maybe they can become a cult classic. That might make them a bit of a money spinner. Probably always a bad idea to attempt to make a cult film. Cult films just happen, if that makes sense. Cult films aren't necessarily financially successful. That'll happen after, after the fact. What you, what you hope is that your film will, will, will find its audience and from that make its money back and pretty much put, put you in good stead to make the next film and the next film and the next film. There, there could be some side effects. 
homicidal tendencies are probably one I should mention straight off the bat. If it's picked up by an audience and it sort of travels around the world and it, it acquires fans and it appears at like uh, comic conventions or horror conventions or sci-fi conventions or whatever, then yeah, you've, you've got a cult film. And that's, I guess that's what you, you hope to happen with the release of any film of this nature that you're making. But, um, but I think what you do is you, 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 pick, you pick a type of individual, like me, you go, what sort of films do I like? And you make a film that I would go and hire from the video store. Creatively, I just focus on uh, making a film that I'd like to see. And I'm the type of nerd who goes to these conventions and buys these films on DVD and all that sort of stuff. So in that sense, it's I guess we're pitching it to have the, the best success.